We're now going to state Green's theorem, but we first need one more definition. So definition So a curve C in R2 is simple if it does not self-intersect except possibly at the endpoints. Okay, so a curve like this is simple. A curve starting and ending at the same point, but not crossing is simple. So these, these two are simple. But a curve that crosses itself like this, so here it crosses itself, so it's not simple. This is also not simple. These are not simple. Uh, the equations for this would be that if you have a parameterization R of t, where t goes from a to b, then simple means that R of t, let's say R of t1, is not equal to R of t2 when t1 is not equal to 2, except possibly when um, t1 equals a and t2 equals b, or vice versa. Okay. In particular, a simple closed curve is one that is both simple and closed. So this, this one here is simple and closed. This one here is closed, but it's not simple. Okay, now we're going to be interested in curves that are both simple and closed. So there's an important fact called the Jordan curve theorem. which says that a simple closed curve C in R2 is the boundary of a unique simply connected region. You might have heard this theorem said um, as a simple closed curve has an inside and an outside. Anyway, this seems sort of intuitively obvious. So if you if you draw a simple closed curve like this, then you can just see the region D right there. So D is this region. Um, it's not quite so obvious. So if you have some really complicated curve, um, I have to be careful not to cross myself here. Okay, how am I going to get out of here? Um, I have to get out this way. Okay. Squeeze right through there. Okay. All right, so there's a simple closed curve. What's the region D? And why is it simply connected? So this is maybe not so obvious. Okay. So you can learn how to prove the Jordan curve theorem in a topology class. For now we're going to accept this as a fact. Okay, now given this fact, um, so let let C be a simple closed curve in the plane and let D be the simply connected region that it bounds. Well, actually, there's only one region that it bounds, and it's simply connected. And we say that C is positively oriented
So I'll just say this informally. So the informal idea is that d is to the left as you walk along c. Okay, so what does this mean? So oriented, what does oriented mean? So if you have a curve, simple closed curve here, but orientation is a choice of a direction in which to go around the curve. We can sort of go around it uh, counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, so orientations are important when we talk about line integrals of something times dx or something times dy or f dot dr because you need to choose an orientation of the curve in order to fix the sign of the line integral. If you switch the orientation, you get the opposite sign. Now, when we have a simple, simple closed curve, there is a distinguished orientation we can choose. It's the orientation which has d on the left. So if you imagine there's a little ant walking along this curve c, then always immediately to its left is the region d. So this, this is convenient for describing line integrals. And there's a notation So if C is a simple closed curve, um, well, so let's say in P and Q are functions, then you, sometimes one sees a line integral with a little circle on it of P dx plus Q dy. What this means, this is the line integral integral of c over c of p dx plus q dy, where c has the positive orientation. So c is positively oriented. Okay, so you can use this notation if you don't want to have to keep saying that you're using the positive orientation of C. Okay, so with all of that notation, I can finally state Green's theorem. So Green's theorem says, let C be a simple closed curve in R2. Let D be the region that it bounds. And let, let P and Q be differentiable functions that are defined on the whole domain, or possibly in a larger domain that if you look at the line integral over C with the positive orientation of P dx plus Q dy, then this is the double integral over the whole domain of dQ dx minus dP dy with respect to area. Okay. So if here's our curve C, here's the domain that it bounds, we're relating a double integral over the whole region D of this expression dq dx minus dp dy um, to the line integral around the boundary of the region with the positive orientation of um, p dx plus q dy. I'll just remind you one more time that this circle means that um, we have the line integral over C with the positive orientation. So in that picture it looks like this. 
Okay, so that's the statement of Green's theorem. In the next lecture statement, we will do an example to see how this works.